Welcome back to Virginia This Morning Live right here on CBS 6. We sure hope you're enjoying your own St. Patrick's Day. Here's an Irish-themed creation you can put together in time today, ready for celebration. Take a look. Today, we have the luck of the Irish. If you enjoy eggs, you're going to love this St. Patrick's Day-themed recipe. Joining us is our great friend of the show, Mary Rappaport from the Virginia Egg Council, who creates Scotch eggs, also known as St. Patty's Day pub eggs. It all sounds good to me, Mary. We've got so many of your recipes in our file that we've used over the years, and I'm looking forward to this next one because my name, Bevins, is Scotch-Irish, so I'm ready for this. This is great. And uh, tell me, Bill, have you ever been to Ireland or Scotland? I have not. I want to. That's on the list. It's on the list, and I want to go. Well, it's interesting because everyone that I know that has been there has gone to these little pubs all around the place. They're like little corner restaurants slash bars, and they serve lots of food as well as a pint or ale or whatever they're drinking. And scotch eggs are just like a, a they're everywhere. Um, it's basically a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage, rolled in breading and deep fried. Um, healthy, not so much. <laughs> but delicious, absolutely. So what we're doing today is just like everybody sort of becomes Irish by putting on green on St. Patrick's Day. I've got some green beads, my earrings, my scarf. I am 100% Italian, but on St. Patrick's Day, boy, I become Irish, right? We're going to turn these already Irish um, scotch eggs, we're going to turn them into Irish pub eggs by giving them a green cast. But let me show you what they look like to begin with. This is what they look like when they come out of the oven and we don't fry them in Virginia, we bake them. They come out like this and then you cut them in half and they are this beautiful hard boiled egg wrapped in a delicious sausage. You always serve it with mustard. That's the condiment that you would use. Don't they look delicious? That is fantastic. That's amazing. It's really, <laughs> like, how did she do that? And they, <laughs> they can actually be served cold, which are fine. In fact, they uh, in England and all those in Scotland and Ireland, they often take these for um, picnics, and you would take them cold. But if you're serving them uh, for like during the ball game, and you want something hearty to have with your brew, whatever you're drinking, you would do scotch eggs. Okay, so we start off with well, let's make the um, the the coating first, and the coating is a cup of panko, and panko comes in a, a tin like this. It's bread, they're, they're called Japanese breadcrumbs, and they're just breadcrumbs that have been crisped up. So, uh, so you start off with that. If you don't have panko, you can use any other kind of breadcrumbs. To make them green, I'm putting three quarters of a cup of baby spinach, and I'm putting this all into this little baby blender. And then you need a little bit more green, and these are the tops of green onions. And um, if you don't like green onions, you can skip it. If you like them, you can have even more of it. Put the top on and just give it a little bit of a whirl. You don't wanna, you know, kill it. You just, and this is, can you see right here what it looks like? It's it's um, the panko mixed with, um, with the green in it. It has that green tinge into it. Okay. Is that gonna Go be ahead. a really crunchy crust on there? It ends up being a crunchy crush. The panko really adds to that. So I have that here. I have another bowl of a beaten egg right here. You need to have some hard boiled eggs. And actually, if you don't wanna cook the eggs, you can even buy them in the store now, already hard boiled and peeled. Or if you don't know how to do it, you can go to virginiaeggcouncil.org and we've got tons of recipes on there and how to boil an egg. But I'm gonna start off with the hard boiled egg and um, it's a little bit damp as it sits there in my container right here. I don't know why, but they get a little bit damp. And you want to make sure that's nice and dry before you put the sausage on. And you can see right here, I have, this is a pound of sausage that I've cut into six pieces. You can use turkey sausage. It cuts the fat in half, frankly, and it's just as good. You can actually, instead of making six portions, you can cut it even smaller and have eight portions if you want to. Um, and, and it's, again, I'm talking about being a little bit less fat. You mash down a portion of this sausage, put the egg inside like this, and you wrap it around here. 
and you make sure you cover it totally. See, it's like a little, it looks like a little football. See how I've done that? This will be fun for the kids to help do too. And then you roll it in the egg wash and then you dip it in the uh, this sort of green tinged batter, not batter, but breading. And then these all go on a baking sheet and there's plenty of room you can see for six of them. And they, um, it's like I said, instead of, um, and my hands are of course mucky from doing that, expect that, make sure you start off with clean hands folks. But um, you have to start off with a very high oven, 425 degrees for 10 minutes, and then you lower it to 375 for 10 more minutes. You can kind of turn them around if you want to so they evenly bake all around. 10 more minutes there, and then turn it around again, 10 more minutes. So you're basically baking them for 30 minutes. And you do that instead of deep frying them, which really cuts the fat. And then- yeah. um, Hey like Mary, I've got a question for you real quick. Yeah. Um, yes. The egg wash. Was that just one egg in there? And is that going to last one through egg. all of those? One or you just egg, keep no, filling one, it in? No, one egg will cover everything. What the egg okay. does in that case is it sticks the breading to the sausage. So that's one of the things eggs do that are so neat. But um, so it's one egg for that. And then um, this breading right here, like you said, it's like I said, it's with panko, but you can use anything. I've actually even made scotch eggs with uh, corn flakes cornflakes crumbs so you don't have to race out and buy all this and if you don't like spinach you can use arugula or even parsley just to give it that little green tinge for st patrick's day so Saint almost Patty's out of time day, mary yeah st patty's great. day pub eggs the recipe is on virginiaeggcouncil.org but i think you also put it on wtbr so enjoy yeah, you know st. We will. Patrick's day. thank you yeah looking forward to that one what a treat thank you mary okay Always nice seeing you and happy St. Patrick's Day. And folks, don't forget, we'll put the recipe, as she said, on our show website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com slash VTM.